From owning a desert to owning an umbrella cover museum, only on Cantori Stories. I guess I tend to do things that are slightly eccentric, a little bit quirky. I play the accordion. I sing. Whenever skies are gray, don't worry or fret. I have an umbrella cover museum. Experience rain as liquid sunshine. I live on an island, so that's how I describe myself. That's Nancy Three Hoffman in a nutshell. Yes, the number three is really her middle name. I changed my middle name from Arlene. It was an ordinary middle name. In 1992, I tried out all the single digits and decided I liked three the best. So I actually had it legally changed. Nancy Three is a professional musician, but her notoriety comes from owning the only umbrella cover museum in the world. I realized one day that I had a few umbrella sleeves, like these little things, lying around the house. And I didn't really want to get rid of them or know what to do with them. So I started asking other people if they had the same problem, you know, considering it kind of a, uh, an addiction. So they would give me their umbrella covers and I would put them on the wall with a note about who gave them to me and where they came from. And it just grew from there. We've got the plastic bag umbrella cover here. Here's the gum wrapper chain umbrella cover. This one may not be an umbrella cover. It might be a golf club cover. The sexy covers here are R-rated. The museum is on Peaks Island, which is a 15-minute ferry ride from Portland. It's grown to about 700 covers from 39 countries. In this case, I have an exhibit called the British and Umbrellas because, of course, it rains a lot in England. People either come in and they start to giggle, or they sometimes walk by the door and go, oh, it's umbrella covers and walk past. Now, I think those people don't have enough curiosity to walk in the door. Our mission is celebrating the mundane in ordinary life. It's also finding wonder and beauty in the simplest of things and knowing there's always a story behind the cover.